Hey YouTube, what is going on? I'm going to do something really fun today. I'm going to show you guys how to make healthier alcoholic drinks. Now I don't drink a whole lot, but when I do, I am conscious about what I am drinking, especially because a lot of times I'm in a competition prep, so I'm always thinking about what is the lowest calorie drink. However, some of my favorites tend to have more calories, so I actually found some cool syrups online and I ordered them and I have them here and we're going to make some healthier drinks that help you reach your goals while still being able to have fun and have drinks with people and just live your life. So let me show you guys what we have. We've got Moscow Mule Mix, we have Apple Teeny, we have a margarita, and we have a mojito. So these are a lot of people's favorite go-to drinks. This one, the Moscow Mule, tends to be one of my favorite drinks. So I'm excited about these. These are the four drinks that we're gonna be making today. I have mint leaves, I have a green apple, and I have lime for the garnish. And then here for our alcohols, we have tequila, we have vodka, and we have rum. Now I have my shaker, I have some salt for the margarita, and then I've got some fun things, a straw, and I'm in Hawaii, so we've got the little umbrellas because we're gonna make it tropical and fun. So it doesn't really say to shake, but I'm gonna gently just kind of mix it up a little bit. And I have a chilled mug and I have some ice, so I'm gonna go grab that. Yeah, nice and chilled. Got our bag of ice and an ice scooper. Get some ice. Fill up your chilled mug. So much protein and veggies in here. The recipes are on the back, guys. You guys can easily, I'm gonna put the link below so you guys can find this. I'm not sponsored by Jordan Syrups. I just happen to have found them before. And I'm gonna put a link at the end of the video so you can click on and see my other video. Uh, Jordan Syrups has a ton of sugar-free coffee additives and flavors. I know that they have peppermint and stuff for the holidays and all sorts of amazing flavors. Basically anything you're gonna find at Starbucks, they have online. Again, not sponsored, just trying to share my love for finding yummy and amazing things uh, and sharing it with other people. But it is two parts, the two parts Moscow Mule Mix, one part vodka, and I've got my nifty little Vegas shot glass here. Here's a taste test. Are you ready? Oh wow. It tastes really good. I'm so impressed. I'm so happy. This is one of my favorite drinks, so I wasn't sure if it would turn out the way that I hoped it would, but wow, I'm so happy with this. This is so good. I love that. And it's easy. That took me like two seconds to make. So the only thing that I would say that would make this a little better, and I did just read on the instructions, was if you add like a splash of club soda, that's gonna give it some more of that carbonation that you get from the ginger beer. Um, so definitely add a little club soda to that. Otherwise, taste-wise, this is really good. Okay, so this one was the highest calorie out of all of them, but I did get this because this is my favorite drink. However, this is 70 calories for one drink. So to my slight dismay, this is not all that <laughs> that much healthier. Um, it was on the website with all the other healthy ones, but this is the only one that does not have super low numbers. So this is just a Moscow Mule Mix, and you guys can have this guilt-free on a cheat meal day, or if you did this every once in a while, nothing to worry about. However, the other three that I have are sugar-free and a lot lower calories. So only 70 calories still, but um, would be great for one of your higher carb days because there is a little sugar in this. And a little sugar never killed anyone. Well, maybe, maybe it did. Diabetes? Oh, you took it there to Wilford Brimley. Did he die? Yes. <gasps> no. I have diabetes. Did he die? Yes. Poor thing. But he checked his blood sugar and he checked it often. All right, we got a lime. 
Boom! Moscow Mule for your next party. Get the copper mug. It's not as good without the copper mug. Next one we're gonna do is an apple teeny for all those men out there because I know this is your favorite drink. Right, right, Steve? Yeah. This yeah, is <laughs> totally no discrimination. An apple teeny is good to anybody. So this one, as you can see, zero calories, zero sugar. First is I'm going to core my apple. Oh my gosh! Okay. Come on, muscles. Come on. I threw your weight into it. Okay. Thing I work out, can core that apple. Now that we have apple slices, this drink, since it's an apple teeny, I don't have a martini glass, but I have this thing that kind of resembles a martini glass. I think it was like, is I mean, it looks like one, but it's tiny. I don't know if it was like with champagne or something. I know it's not like the normal champagne flute, but I don't know. I want to say this came with champagne. It was like in a gift set, so. This is gonna be our apple teeny though. And I'm so excited because I get to use this and be your master mixologist today. I'm going to add a couple of scoops of ice. This is our second vodka drink we have. This is gonna be one parts vodka to two parts apple teeny into your shaker. And I'm not a bartender, so I'm not sure if there's like a method to the madness, like if you're supposed to add something first. Ooh, that's heavy handed. And I did shake this up a little bit gently. Oh, that's heavy too. That will match the first it's one. like half. Okay, you can always add more. There we go. Okay, ready? <laughs> there, you didn't see that part happen. That's why you have a handy dandy tray. Look at that, it's so cute. All right, and I took a thin slice of the apple. Garnish it like that. How fun would that be for your parties? Oh, that's good. Tastes like a little Jolly Rancher. Sorry, I don't know that one. Excuse me. Thanks, Alexa. The next one we have is our mojito. I'm excited about this one because this is such a refreshing drink. Our mojito and we've got, we've got our rum. And so now we are going to do, this one actually says two to three parts mojito mix, one part rum. I've got my shot glass. First, we're gonna add the ice. For party bookings and special occasions to hire Jessica the Master Mixologist, leave a comment below. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> You don't want me to trust me I will ruin your party we're gonna do three parts mojito mix oh my goodness you can't do that babe you're gonna give me a heart attack age drum give a little give a little extra a little extra. Just a little bit. You want to make it a little spicier? I'm going to put a few of the mint leaves down in here. Boop. Pretend like we didn't spill. And you have your mojito. And I typically do like ice in my mojito, so I'm just going to take some of the ice from here. Add it in to my drink. Mix up those mint leaves a little. Let's give it a try. That is really good too. These taste so delicious. This definitely tastes like something that I would get at a bar. And the fact that these are so low calorie should make anybody's day. Zero calories, zero sugar. Well, and you still have some calories here in the rum. This is really, really good. I'm like a true bartender here. I'm like wiping down the area. We are going to be making a margarita on the rocks. Yeah, <laughs> that just makes me so happy. 
Who doesn't love a little umbrella in their drink? Our margarita here, this one is five calories and reduced sugar. I do not have a margarita glass, but I have a red wine glass. So we are going to use this. Or if you prefer, you can always use a party pimp cup if you're a boss. Or for the princesses of the world, you can use this one. Last but certainly not least, if you're a king, this is the cup for you. But today, on Drinks with Jess, we are going to use a red wine glass for our margarita. Cause we're fancy. Now what I'm gonna do, guys, I got this at Walmart. I'm gonna put a little water on the rim. And then we're gonna dip it in to our salt. Fancy. Fill up our shaker. Our tequila. Now you know what they say about tequila, so maybe start out with one shot and see where that takes you. What do they say about tequila? I don't know, I think it says something about gains and muscles and all that stuff. Nothing about your clothes coming off. We're gonna do three parts margarita mix. I'm not sure if I do it right either. <laughs> Should I do a flip? I'm not sure if that's like correct margarita making uh, protocol. However, we're at home, so. That is so perfect. Look at that. And then this one totally needs an umbrella. I'm having so much more fun actually making these drinks. I wanna host a party now just so I can have friends over to drink these. That is so good. That is like restaurant quality margarita. drinks <laughs> I had a ton of fun doing this I hope you guys enjoy this um, I really want to be serious for a second and tell you to drink responsibly don't drink and drive it is so silly and it is so not worth it get a lift cab a friend anything just don't get on the roads drinking what I love about this is the fact that you can drink responsibly and also be at home with your friends and still get bar quality drinks and also be aware of your health so i think this is a super winning combo um, if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up it helps out my channel and i really love it i want to know what which one of these you guys would try first which one's your favorite drink comment it below let me know if you have any other healthy recipe drinks and i will see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day 13. thank you guys i hope you guys have as much fun making these as i did all right bye guys